What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I know this looks a lot different from what I told you guys, but I told you guys I was going to film in Ship Shawana and I ended up getting up there, filming an intro, everything went well, and then got to the show and tried night, and it was super loud. So, got a few couple minutes of footage, but it was really loud in there, so I wasn't really able to, um, wasn't able to hear myself in there, so I just decided not to film. Sorry for the letdown, but um, it was just so loud that you could barely even understand what I was saying, so the surround sound just got to the mic, but anyways, here's what I came home with, uh, nice stack of cards, I guess, uh, I had about double or triple this, I think probably double this, but the guys over at Key Cards ended up buying me out, uh, bought all my collection, so had to basically restart, and this is kind of what we came home with, so nothing crazy, but nice lot, so... Uh, I'm going to waste no time, and let's see what we picked up. So, a few things for the PC here and there, but I'm going to start with this middle stack. Let's get to it. So, uh, first card, picked this up off my guy Logan at Great Sports Cards. Shout out to him uh, and his family. Super cool to talk to. Go sub to his YouTube if you haven't, but uh, sick, flawless Joey Votto. It's on card to 10. Um, you don't see many of his flawless stuff anymore, low numbered like this, especially on card, but... I uh, had to pick this up. I had a few more of his autos, but um, sick one there off my guy Logan. Super easy to work with on that. Um, but next, this is another one. Many of you don't know. I am a hockey fan, so I don't I don't buy or collect a whole lot of hockey. But when I do, it's typically capital stuff like this for cheap that you know active players that I can PC. So uh, nice Alexander Alexie auto out of uh, Ultimate. So, number to two ninety nine dollars on card. Pick this up for 5 out of a value box. So, pretty cool one for my PC. Um, next, pick these up off my guy Jackson. I have a few different ones here, but this is just one of them. Uh, Big Kahuna, Jordan Travis. you seen Jackson in the first video um, when I picked up the Halliburton Auto and the uh, Kyle Lowry Genesis. So, he was there in Shipshawana. So, made a nice lot with him. Spent about one fifty with him. Uh, picked up some more big kahunas, which you'll see later, but, um, so, big kahuna, Jordan Travis, I've had a few of these, his, his stuff just sells so well for me, um, so, nice one there, can't go wrong with case hits like that for five, probably my favorite case hits, but, um, next, here's another one, I'm, uh, from Indiana, so, Notre Dame's pretty local from us, about two, it's probably two hours from my house, but, uh, Sam Hartman Auto, it's not a first, but, uh, coming out of Bowman, so, Paid about seven on this, so got that in a lot with another card. So, but really cool one here. Nice auto. Going to probably sell this on eBay or something, or local. Do really well with Sam Hartman. Uh, next, here's another one. This was kind of a throw-in, but got this off my guy at the show. So couldn't remember his name. I'm bad with names, but uh, Optic T Higgins Hollow. So low end pickup there, but you know. Could be decent trade bait if we need like five to ten bucks in value on top. So cool one there. Uh, next, pick this up off my guy Cooper uh, for a dollar. Feel like I couldn't go wrong. Tops All Star game patch of uh, Freddie Freeman. So game used. Picked it up for a buck. Uh, you don't see too many All Star patches. So, but pretty cool one there. Uh, next, here's some more Sam Hartman coming at you with a big Kahuna case hit. So uh, Sam Hartman's Big Kahunas are really cheap. They're like five bucks, five to ten actually. So I picked this up for five. So another one off my guy Jackson. Um, picked up a few different Big Kahunas and a really sick card that you will see later. That's in this mag stack. So uh, another Big Kahuna. Uh, picked this up off my guy Brendan over at Reds Rips on Instagram. Uh, Jeremy Sochan Blue Disco out of one fifty. So it is OC. So I'm definitely not going to grade it, but. Uh, Nice one there for, I think, 10 bucks. so sells anywhere from 20 to 25 so good eBay card here, but I feel like you really can't go wrong on that, so um, even though it is Spurs and they suck right now, but so Chan stuff moves well for me. Uh, next, got this off my guy Zach over at ZT Sports Cards, uh, picked out a good lot from him, got another card that's in here that you guys will like, but uh, Prism Silver, Sensational Signatures of Ben Matherin. Like I said times and times before, I'm from Indiana, so anything Pacers, Colts, uh, Reds, even though they're in Ohio, anything like that, colleges, even that, 
moves so well for me. So uh, I think Matherin's a really good player. I think he's going to develop really well in the Pacers organization. So um, sick one there off my guy Zach. Paid about forty bucks I think on this. So just under, just about eighty percent I think it was. So um, got to pay strong on Mather and stuff just because it's so easy to move any any Pacer stuff really in my state. So nice one off my guy Zach. Uh, next, this is another big kahuna, um, off my guy Jackson, uh, Mecca Buka. so he's a really good wide receiver at Ohio State, even though I absolutely despise Ohio State, just because I'm a Notre Dame fan, but, uh, super cool one there, off my guy Jackson, uh, like I said, I think I paid about 10 bucks on this, I think these do about 15 to 20, so I'm gonna try to sell it somewhere in there, so, uh, super cool one, off my guy Jackson, uh, here's another interesting one. So, uh, outside of the Pacers, I do like the New York Knicks. So, uh, obviously, he did get traded to the Pistons. But, uh, Quentin Grimes, IMAC, RPA, number to 49. Sneaky little three color. Got the white, the blue, and the orange. But, uh, nice Grimes, RPA. Felt like I couldn't go wrong there. Uh, I think I paid 25 on this. So, I know it seems high, but this to 49. The number to 99 does about 35 to 40. So, Hoping to sell that just for a bit more, get a quick profit on that, but any iMac RPAs or NT RPAs, I just can't go wrong with, so super cool Pick up off my guy, uh, Brendan, over at Red's Rips. Uh, here's another big kahuna, picked this up off my guy Jackson, of course. Um, Drake May, obviously with him going to the draft, uh, I think this card's going to go up some, so uh, that's one reason I picked it up, plus I like big kahunas and they sell super well, so... Uh, Hopefully, maybe to sell this soon. I wouldn't mind if holding it till about April. Uh, normally, I don't really hold cards, but uh, it's, it is pretty centered, so I may grade it or just quick flip at the draft. So, uh, picking these case hits up of college players going into the draft for me is a good move only because they don't have any pro uni cards yet. So, uh, you know, fans of whatever team they get drafted to are looking for looking for them, and if I can pick them up dirt cheap, then it's a good play there, so. Uh, next, pick this up. This guy is a freaking beast. Alpern Shangoon, so 75th Prism, uh, 75th Anniversary, short print, I think, so. Uh, super cool in there. Did pay really strong on this. Paid 25 I think they sell for like 30 so. May not make a whole lot off this card, uh, unless we grade it. Just top to bottom looks iffy, so I'm, I'm unsure if I'm going to grade it, but. Uh, nice one there. It is really clean, so may not make a whole lot on it, if any, but can't go wrong with really any Sangoon cards right now. So uh, Here's another one, naturally, off my guy Jackson. Uh, like I said time and time before with that Drake May, that any really any college player that's going to the NFL draft doesn't have many cards, especially Pro Uni at all, so uh, Brock Bowers, he's going to be another really high first-round pick, probably top 15 for sure, maybe even top 10. So, in my opinion, best tight end in the draft, but uh, another big kahuna case hit there. So, um, another these are one of the more expensive ones. I think it was like Caleb Williams, Bo Nix, um, Brock Bowers, Drake May, kind of those guys. So, higher picks, but pick this up off my guy Jackson. Uh, here's another one. Like I said, I'm a Colts fan, so this stuff moves well. Plus, I do really well with Bowman. Uh, this is a Bowman Anthony Richardson. I think this is, I think they call it an aqua. It's like an aqua or a teal, whatever they want to call it. Uh, but Anthony Richardson, first Bowman to 299 So, another nice pickup there. Um, so, uh, here's another one. Another AR. Donner's Blue Press Proof. Uh, got this off my guy Jackson. Paid about 5 bucks on this, so... It only comps around 8 to 10 right now, so another nice color match there. That's going to sell really well local to me, so wouldn't be shocked if I move this for double comps. So nice one there. Uh, here we go. I don't buy a whole lot of Bowman, but when I do, it's typically the Reds or the players that are hyped. So uh, Rhett Louder, I know he's a pitcher, so pitchers, pitchers draft stock aren't crazy, especially in Bowman, unless it's true gold, true blue color like that. Uh, obviously, a true red would move really well because it's color match. But uh, pick this up off my guy Logan at Great Sports Cards again. Um, nice Rhett Louder on card auto out of Bowman. So these are doing anywhere from thirty-five to fifty. So I paid up on that, but overall can't beat it. 
Bowman moves. Uh, here's another one. I think this is, I think, the last card I picked up off my guy, Brendan, at Red's Rips. Uh, nice Nico Collins Optic Bronze Auto. Um, paid about 20 bucks on this. I think they comp at, like, 35 or 40 but uh, nice one there. Nico Collins is a beast, and you can't ever go wrong with Optic Rookie Auto, so... But that's it for that raw stack. Now time to get into the uh, mag stack. So these were the better cards besides the slaps. So starting off, Origins Will Levis to 99. Just a rookie. Base rookie to 99. But uh, pick this up as long as, not as long, as well as that T. Higgins hollow you seen earlier. So paid about 15 on this. I think it does about 20, 25 right now. But uh I had to pay a little lower just because it kind of beat up on the edges, which you may not be able to see in the video, but it was. So, nice one to 99. Will Levis sells, so QBs. Uh, here is another one. Can't remember who I picked this up off of, but another PC item. Little, uh, I think it's out of Museum Collection. It's Joey Votto, on-card auto, um, to 50. So, I like it how they have the black background with the uh, silver ink auto. I think that looks really nice on there. Plus good image, so I'm going to keep that one for my PC. Uh, here is another one. A nice uh, Spectrum Max Impact. Uh, Justin Tucker. It's a laundry tag out of four, so um, you see, you've seen me pick up a few kicker cards here and there. This is the stuff I'd like to pick up of kickers, so uh, really cool patches, autos, low-numbered stuff. So did well on this. Paid about 40 bucks on that for a laundry tag to four, so I did sell this to my buddy. That I have to meet this week. So, quick little $20 profit on the Tucker. So, super cool one. Uh, next, here's another one. I think I picked this up my, off my guy, Cardinal Sports Cards, on Instagram. Uh, Panini Black, Travis Etienne RPA to 15. So, Redemption RPA has a sneaky three color. So, this edge is black, then white, and I guess white. So, maybe not a three color. Two color, sorry. Losing my mind, but... Super cool one there. Um, I do really well on ETN stuff, especially sealed RPAs, redemptions, things like that. So low numbered one to 15. This is going to be a sneaky play. Uh, next, pick this up off my guy Mitch at Sports Stop in Angola. Uh, it's in northern Indiana if you've never been. Super cool shop. I'd recommend stopping by. But uh, another redemption RPA. This is out of Nor. Cole Anthony, RPA to 99. Uh, nice little three color patch there. So. Pretty good patch on card auto. Uh, nor obviously being a higher end product, so probably gonna do really well in this. Paid twenty five, so super cool in there. Off my guy Mitch. Thank you again. Uh, here is another nice one. Pick this up off my guy Brendan. Reds rips. Uh, Hurts number to twenty. So um, the only comp on this that I've seen was uh, like seven dollars and fifty cents. What I which I thought was really crazy for a number to twenty, even though it's like a third year, I think. And that's out of, okay, maybe it's a second year, sorry. It's out of 2021, but uh, this is Jersey Match, so 2 of 20. I did notice that once I got home, but sick one there. I think I'm going to be able to move this a lot more for seven than $7.50. So super cool one there off my guy, Brendan. Uh, here's the heater I was talking about earlier off my guy, Zach. This was a super cool one. I've always wanted something like this. So 2019-20 uh, Prism, Kobe Bryant, Sensational Swatches, uh, they have multiple different jersey copies of this. I know there's like a uh, uh, the purple and then the yellow or the white. So this one is the yellow one. Uh, I like that a lot. But paid about 55 on this. I uh, got that in a lot with my guy Zach. So always really easy to work with. Go check out ZT Sports Cards or ZT Sports, I think it is, on Instagram if you haven't. Um, super cool guy. Really easy to work with. So nice Kobe game-worn swatch there. Uh, I think this was my last pickup off my guy, uh, Jackson. So, super nice one here. Um, out of Flawless. Flawless Super Bowl Peyton Manning swatch, number to 25. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, nice three-color swatch there. This is um, worn, player-worn slash used material. So, uh, it's out of 2021 Flawless. I'm still wondering if it's from the actual Super Bowl. I know it says Super Bowl and it lists the game, but it is out of 2021 Flawless. So, uh, not too sure on that one. If anyone could let me know down below, that'd be really appreciative. But uh, nice, super cool one there. Uh, I wish it was Colts Uni. That would probably sell for me better, just being in Indiana. But 
really cool in there. Pick this up for, I think, 70 as long as, as well as with the uh, big kahunas that you did see earlier. So, super cool one there. Uh, next here is a cheaper pickup. I think, hopefully, this guy goes up. Uh, it's out of certified freshman fabric, uh, Chris Olave RPA, number 249. So, I do really well with these lower... Uh, cheaper RPAs, especially NFL players. So nice, Chris Olave RPA uh, has a napkin patch, but oh well, paid twenty bucks on it. So super cool one there. Um, so that's it for the mags. Uh, so now time to check out these slabs I picked up. So starting off with a nice heater, PSA ten. Uh, this is select field level rookie of Herbert. Uh, just a just a base one, but. Super cool in there. Paid about 40 bucks on this. Uh, I picked this up just because I think with Jim Harbaugh being there, I think that's going to go up a lot. So, super cool in there. Uh, another one off my guy, Zach. I think this is the last card I picked up off of him. PSA 9, Prism Ruby Wave, Tyrese Maxi. Can't go wrong with Maxi. For $35, I just couldn't really beat it. So, uh, here's another nice one. I thought I was going to PC it, but I decided to sell it. So, PSA 10, White Sparkle, Joey Votto. Wish it was licensed, but super cool in there. I think it's a pop two. It's either pop two or four, but really low pop on this. So super cool in there. Uh, next, here's another one. Uh, picked this up. PSA 10, RJ Barrett Elephant. So I really like RJ Barrett plus Case Hit Elephant graded a 10 for $40. I think I could make a pretty solid profit on this card. So uh, super cool in there. Love these Elephant Case Hits. Uh, next, here's another one picked up off my guy Logan at Great Sports Cards. Uh, PSA 10, uh, Bowman Sapphire, Spencer Steer rookie. For some reason, I thought this was Matt McClain at first, but Spencer Steer is just as good, but Matt McClain's probably a little better. So, nice little pick up there. Love these Sapphire cards. Uh, here's another one, actually, that I picked up lo off Logan. So, got two more. or Well, this one and then one more. So, uh, PSA 9, it's out of Donner's stat line, number 94 of Josh Downs. Like I said, again, any local Colts, stuff like that moves really well, especially Josh Downs. So I paid about 15 on this. I think it was pretty solid being a numbered rookie to 94 and a 9. So we'll see how we do on that one. Uh, last, here's another one. I picked this up. These are super, super tough gem rates, as you see with all the edges and stuff like that. PSA 10, Gunslingers, Anthony Richardson. Out of Bowman's best. So, um, normally I don't like picking up a whole lot of college uni stuff of him just because he has pro uni stuff out, but these are super hard to gem. I think it's like a pop four. Obviously, you can see why with all these jagged edges and stuff like that. So, uh, super cool pickup there. Uh, actually, I thought I picked this up off Logan. Sorry, I picked this up off my guy Trace and Hoops Cards on Instagram. I picked up another Richardson off Logan, but I did already sell that. I had a red press proof. So, sorry about that. Did get this off, off my guy, Trayson. Paid about 25 on this. So, I think last comp was 45, 20, 20. So, super cool one there. But that's it, guys. That's all my pickups that managed to make it home with me from Ship Shawana. So, uh, go check out uh, B Sports. Brad, he hosts the show. So, super good show. Um, he did just announce that he is having another one. Memorial Day in May, so I will be up there, so um, be another solid show, guys, but that's all I really have for this one. i um, going to have some different videos coming at you guys this week, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.